Bonjour tout le monde. In the last video, I talk about the difficulties I have to weld. Sometimes my welding dots are perfect, almost perfect, let's say, and sometimes it's like bubbling. So I told you I will make a test and it's the moment to do. So I prepare some samples that I will weld. This one with anti-rust plus primer. This one only with the primer. And this one with only steel. So guys, as you can see, it's another world. This is the welding I did in front of you with plain steel, no treatment on it, okay? This is the welding I did with the zinc galve weld through primer only. And this is the welding I did with anti-rust plus weld through primer. No need to talk. Eh? These two are absolutely the same. And this one, it's another world. So, since the beginning, I'm welding with weld through primer. Before I used the uh, U-Pole, and now it's uh, frost because uh, it's cheaper. And since the beginning, I'm struggling with my welding. Just hope that um, the repair I did since are um, enough strong. So, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Guys, if you have any clues, if you have uh, any information to give me, please let me a comment in the description below because uh, I'm really lost. Well, after this little um, welding test and a mix uh, between uh, frustration and satisfaction, I must to finish my welding. This section is a sheet of work. By willing to fix a hole that I did here, I asked my wife to hold a piece of Cooper from inside the car to fix this problem. Then after I asked her again to put a lamp to see if there is still hole. And there's too many, too many, too many small pinhole that I did by willing to clean too much the welding before. So, Obviously, I make thinner the steel, and now uh, it's the result, it's too much fragile. So I will make a new section here, no choice, because I cannot let like that.
I'm a bit happy because I finished this area. Uh, of course, there is still a little, but uh, nothing major. For now, I want to focus on the engine removal. I'm done also the floor panel. I still have a little section to do here because it's connected with the frame rail. So I have to finish the work first. Then I have a little at the back to do, me. nothing really important. Under the car, there is the jack point to put back. And there is also the reinforcement plate for the floor panel but for now I want to focus on this section as you can see there is a little work to do and I don't want to work in, the, in this position it's, as I told you before I don't want I want to remove the engine because it's a nightmare already to work uh, here and to weld uh, so <laughs> I cannot imagine here so it's the next step Allez, c'est parti. I will remove a maximum of parts to make more room. For the gearbox bracket, I think I must remember the settings. So I will put a mark somewhere because uh, I guess it's important for the balance of the drive shaft. Hmm, what a good noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's oil. Mm -hmm. For those who are wondering what this exhaust, because it's not original, I bought in Cats to You in UK. I will add the link in the description. I put a stand to support the gearbox. Maybe it was useless to remove that. Maybe. 
maybe I have to remove only that bracket. Okay, never mind. The two nuts from the gearbox bracket support are grinded so I cannot fit the Torx socket. <laughs> Merde. So I must grind the nuts. I will put a mark around that because I guess it's for the setting for the balance of the propeller shaft. Et voilà. It's ready to be removed. Sorry, yesterday I did not film uh, not so many around the engine because I was struggling with the time. And uh, so I focus on the work than the camera. So I can see you laughing about our look. <laughs> Honestly, we did not think about to wear nice clothes because it was freaking cold. It was a bit stressful moment to remove this engine. The guy bring us the excavator at 10, at least of 8, and he took uh, at home at 3 p.m. So five, we had only five hours to, to remove the engine. But anyway, lucky us, it was sunny, at least. I wanted to try in this way to remove the engine because it was more comfortable for me to watch the work. But finally, I did not have enough room between the engine and the excavator, so I had to move in another place. Stay until the end of the video, I explain why we use an excavator to remove the engine. I can't move the engine without removing the jack who hold the gearbox.
just come there. But Jimmy was hung on the by the board. If I can, I want to the bar in the lap and kill it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, bah ça tombe tout un petit peu... Ça, 
Maybe you're wondering why we ramped a small excavator to remove the engine. It's easy because we had only three options to remove it. The one is to use the famous uh, classic uh, engine lift. But as you can see, we cannot use with the gravel without putting a board and beams under and blah, blah, blah. And also because of the settings that I used to lift the car. The second option was to make uh, something like a bridge over the uh, the engine bay going here to bring the engine until here. And the third option was the mini excavator. And all in all, the cost of the renting is the cost of the engine lift <laughs> or the monkey business to, to install the boards and here or the monkey business to install the, the bridge here. So... Finally, we use the best and faster solution. Alors, maintenant, here is the engine bay naked. So, there's nothing really critical in this engine bay, but I wanted to clean and also I wanted to change some uh, seals on the engine. I will show you what's going on inside. 
mainly I removed the engine to repair this area also in the opposite side and honestly I cannot weld it's not possible to weld from from inside like I did so I wanted to be quiet to work a bit properly as much as I can so you can see there is bubble here so I want to repair this but there is something really important this hole to fit the, the frame and I cannot touch that so I really must to work around and after I discover this area by hoping it's not so 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 bad so I will try to remove this heat shield to see if there's nothing under again a big clean a little paint here and there and it will be okay so it will be the work for the episode 11 and stay tuned guys hope to see you again cheers